um, rap categories we found out today in the Grammy submissions, right? Super freaky girl, where I only rapped on the song. was removed out of rap categories at the Grammys, right? And put in pop. Headline bling, however, in 2017, won best rap song. Headline bling won best rap song and best rap song song now let's say let's say that let's say that super freaky girl is a pop song let's just say that right what is big energy if Super Freaky Girl is a pop song, what song is Big Energy? What genre is Big Energy? So I'm just going I'm just going to explain this to you. Yes, thank you. They stay moving the goalpost when it comes to me because in order for them to uplift the people who they want to shine, the people who these corporate giants, you know, can can make um, the money off of the people who control things, a lot of things behind the scene. They have to elevate someone that they profit off. So they must move the goalpost for me all the time. And shout out to Drake for, even Drake spoke up on this when he was like, why am I winning a rap, uh, you know, award for Hotline, Hotline Bling? Um, you know, and he did the right thing. To me, that's, that's what you're supposed to do as an artist. If you truly, if you know something is unfair as an artist, speak on that shit. Drake could have just let that shit slide and just add to his collection, but he spoke up. You know what I'm saying? So, big energy is rap, but super freaky girl is pop. Now, if you say both of them are pop, I would say, okay, fine, because I'm all about being fair. Like, I never, yo, let me tell you something. I got to where I am by working hard. I never in my life have asked for handouts. I don't want nothing free. I don't I don't never want to cheat nothing to get nothing that I that I have. I want to win fair and square at anything. In the article that just came out, it said other rap songs that have been also put in pop are Doja Say So. Well, Doja is singing and say so. It's actually a lot more singing and pop than rap. That's understandable. Post Malone. Well, we know Post Malone always sings and raps. Like, how can you play the second verse of Super Freaky Girl and say, now look, imagine this. I see you not listening, sit with you now. Clean out your fucking ears and start opening your fucking ears. Go through your earlobes if you have to. I see you're not listening. So I'm going to say it again because I know people like to twist my words. If Super Freaky Girl is pop, then so is Big Energy. If you move Super Freaky Girl out of pop and put it in, I mean, out of rap and put it in pop, do the same thing with Big Energy. Right? 
same producers on both songs, by the way, if you want to talk about it. So let's keep shit fair. But I know one thing. Even with my second, even when I'm rapping on a pop track, I still out rap, out rap. But this has to always be done because in order for them to, and this is a, a, this is a group of people. If you can't tell by now, you're not opening your eyes. If you can't tell by now that there is a concerted effort to give newer artists things that they really don't deserve over people who have been deserving for many years, then you're not paying attention. And soon it's going to be, soon female rap is going to be very, um, soon female rap will really not have any black women. If you pay attention, you'll see, you'll understand. Mm -hmm. There is an agenda because I am not signed to a 360. And for many years, there was a certain label that had to pay me nonstop for their features. So if we're going to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. Right? And by the way, this is not to say any song is bad or any female rapper is bad. I think, and I always say this, any rapper, female or male, that wins a Grammy, you should be fucking proud of yourself. But why is the goalpost only ever moved when it's Nikki? Well, I'll tell you why. They don't want the people who they have in the industry to have to go up against me. But why? If you're great, if a song is great, you should be able to be put together in the same category. Now, what do you think is going to happen when they start voting on these pop categories? And it's a bunch of, you know, people, right, or wherever they from or older or wherever, and they have to decide between Nicki Minaj and Harry Styles or Nicki Minaj and Adele. Or Nicki Minaj. Like, that's purposely designed so that Nicki is not in the category that we don't want any competition in. Put her in there so she has more competition and less of a chance to win. Hi, Foxy. I love you, baby. I need you on this album, Fox. But, but black women rarely, rarely, even though we're the most powerful uh, group on the planet, a lot of times we don't speak up until it's too late. How you don't see what's happening. Okay. Um, so, again, to reiterate, um, to reiterate, you guys. I got cramps. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, Lord, child. Um, but you know what I mean? Excuse me, Grammy board. Tell us everybody who made this decision. And I noticed it was something weird when a certain person started recently saying out of nowhere, oh, Super Freaky Girl is pop. He's always at the center of something that is happening against me. 
and he just laughs and loves it, child. He said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm popping. Um, but, y'all, this shit has got to stop. I will definitely come to sweat your baby, you guys. Um, and shout out to shout out to you guys for doing Nikki Nights all over. It's been so successful. I know that's going to become a trend, like everything the Barb's do. Um, but you know, uh, yeah. I just wanted to make it very fucking clear that this is this is not good. This is a bad thing. Stop moving the goal post when it comes to Onika Tanya. That's all. And by the way, shout out to all female rappers all around the world. Everyone. Everyone. Keep hope alive. Let's, let's, um, you know, but yes, so you guys, um, Oh, but y'all, I do want to thank you for your constant support of Super Freaky Girl. Let me tell y'all this one last thing, y'all. Have you guys on TikTok been watching the trend, the one thing about me, when people are freestyling to, to the Super Freaky Girl beat? Perfection. Hilarious. I want to thank everybody who has been supporting me in the swung. Okay. I love you dearly. Be blessed. I'm working for my babies because I love you. And I appreciate you. And you are the best people on the planet. The best vaginas and the best penises. Don't you ever forget. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay? Now have a blessed day. Okay? Have a blessed day. That's all I wanted to say, y'all. Um... Okay, so we'll see. I'll I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.